for for me, the sustainable city is a question mark is needed at the end. Um, because there's sort of the question whether there is something that we could call sustainable about cities and whether the city is what should be sustainable. Uh, and that's sort of twofold in, in discussing how we view sustainability, which is what I've looked at in my research, how we understand notions of sustainability and what we actually mean by sustainable urban development in projects that are sort of marketed to be at the front line. Um, but also understandings of what urbanity is or what the urban is in relation to the sustainable. So I'm not so interested in, in urban form, for example, which is an interesting question in itself, how that could help or hinder um, more sustainable forms of production or transportation or consumption. Or I, I'm interested in questions of how um, we actually understand resource use in everyday life. How do we define the, the boundaries of what should be sustainable? Is it a city? Is it a region? A country? Are we talking about a global perspective? Which is um, what we should be talking about, of course. But um, so, so while there is this movement or, or has been a discussion uh, regarding how we contextualize or this bringing the global questions to the local fora and so on, there's this, this counter tendency which has been to um, these universal concepts of, of urban sustainability or urban sustainable uh, development or, or design, um, which is quite worrying in that it replicates understandings of sustainability from one context to the other. One of the interesting aspects of, of urban sustainability, if there is such a thing, um, is to understand how our environments are both socially and spatially constructed. So there's an interesting aspect of what people do and, and where they do it and with whom. Uh, and I think for urban designers and planners, there's um, oftentimes a, a, an interest, uh, but not always a competency. Uh, but rather it's based on, on assumptions and in a quite, well, homogenous um, profession and professional background, there's a tendency to also reproduce certain understandings of, of who we are as a very diverse um, population. Uh, so, so there should be um, more correspondence between this interest that I, I think is really a driving force for a lot of people who work with urban environments and actual competency and knowledge to, to back that up. Uh, but in, in my studies of how these frontline types of, of urban developments identify themselves as sustainable, there's quite a focus on business as usual, but in more green, sort of green tinted terms. Uh, so it might be that you're still assumed to lead, lead a quite high consuming lifestyle, it's just that what you consume will be slightly less bad and it will be more green or, or what more ecologically friendly or however it's branded. But there's an assumption that it will basically look kind of, kind of the same, but if you look at the needs for more collaborative practices in terms of, for example, well shared use but also shared production, it might be completely different prerequisites for for, you know, do we need a workshop here? Do we need a, a space here where we can um, sell the items one day or trade them another or co-produce? Uh, so there's there's a tendency to say that we can continue in the same, same uh, way that we've been doing, but we can just sort of change and say, well, what used to be a regular hairdresser is now eco hairdresser, or what used to be a uh, shop is now a, a green shop uh, without actually changing the premise for what that means.